So once this grip and lays are done, we can start about uh, uh, start going about just adding some more detail to the solid. Uh, because we're working with a solid modeler uh, kernel, we can add sharp edge detail to the solid body that we have created here. And one of the first things we want to do is maybe create some screw holes in it. I've drawn some uh, dimension screw holes on it that are uh, uh, six millimeter screw holes with ten millimeter openings, and I can use these as to wire cut in detail in the actual model. I'm just going to pick the two top ones and do those, and then uh, basically show how that's done. So I set the depth of where I want them to go in. I'm just going to go in just partially into the side, and I'll say wire cut that, and we'll cut sharp edge detail into the actual um, side of the solid body. The next thing I want to do is add the actual holes uh, after I've done that bit of detail. So these are the inlays. The next thing I want to do is create uh, the actual holes within them. So I'll select these two profiles on the inside, the six millimeter holes. And I'll set the depth on how deep, and they could be also numerically set. Uh, I'm just setting them a certain amount, and then I'll cut those as well. So there we have the holes cut in the sides. Um, and I'll turn that plane off, and we can go and add some more detail to the actual model. And here I've used a you know, wire cut solid to be able to cut into the front. Just hook that circle and cut a measured distance into the back. And in the back section, I've taken a wire cut and cut these louvers for the intake vents on the back of the model. And uh, next I'll load in just uh, the finished model, uh, but considerably more work could be done. So this is the more or less finished model. It's got vents, it's got screw holes, it's got some switches and knobs and stuff like that placed in it. It's got the texture inlays, it's got the uh, turbine uh, in, uh, insides to it. This is built on a Pratt Whitney jet engine. Uh, so you have all the things that you need uh, inside of the modeler to be able to do some basic detailing of the solid model. Uh, this could be exported out to a, a number of different CAD packages where engineering could be done on it as well because it is a valid solid model.